Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob D. Sterling, and today we're painting the Gore Geyser from the Stretch Goals box from Zombie Side Undead or Alive, the Dead West box it is called. And we're going to be using a uh, black primer uh, with a dry brushing of white on top, so a grisaille effect. And we're going to be using these two speed paints right here that are supposed to be very different all right howling sand and rigor mortis okay like you can see they're very different i'm gonna and somehow they look identical so did army painter simply put the same paint in the two pots is this a mistake in my box anyways let's paint and find out All right, so the Gore Geyser was given a uh, slap chop kind of paint undercoat here. Uh, and don't forget to check out bootsickfdb.com. They are the channel supporters by giving me a small discount on their products, which is great uh, because this hobby is an expensive one. Uh, also, if you want to send me a nice little gift, uh, you can use the link that's popping up below or in the description. And uh, since it is a gift, I am able to receive those, uh, unlike a lot of other ways of earning money on YouTube. We're starting off with a little bit of rigor mortis, and this is one of the colors I was talking about. I'm putting this on the miniature, okay? I know that this, what this color is going to be like. I also know what Howling Sand is going to look like. And you're going to see these two right next to each other on this miniature, and you're going to think just like me. One, did Army Painter cheap out and make the same paint twice and just called it something else and put a different color on the box? Because frankly, even when you shake them up, they look a bit different. But I don't know if it's because of the um, white slap chopping over the black that's doing this. Uh, or is it really a problem in my paint that I got that they're both identical in the box? Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, these two came in the uh, complete set. Not the mega set, I'm talking about the complete set. Uh, so what if they did come in that and I just got an error in the boxes but there are two other colors that are like that too in the box and I think I did that in another video and I believe it was the oh it was some sort of I think it was the ruddy fur and something else anyways they were like identical uh, and oh yes it was on the orc flayers actually so if you haven't seen that video go check that out because again those two colors as well are identical as you can see here I did some cool base oh here we go first we're gonna start with this the howling sand here I'm gonna talk about this quickly Look, as you can see, I'm putting this on his fingernails, on the teeth and all that. It is identical. It comes out looking the same. I was hoping more for a lighter bone color kind of thing, like a really pale bone color. And it's not at all what it's giving me here. It's giving me exactly rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is supposed to have a touch of green to it, and it doesn't. It really doesn't. Coming down to the base here, as you can see, I put some texture on there. I also had a little cactus there that I got from epicbasing.com. Take a look at their website. They got some cool files you can actually pay for and then print yourself, or you can actually buy physical uh, 3D prints that they send you in the mail. Really cool. I also had some uh, bone skull or some cow skulls or bull skulls or whatever. I had those printed from a store here uh, locally, and uh, I put those on there. Really make this guy look gross, and you know he's he's coming to destroy the town. But you'll see the cactus makes it a little bit lighter later on because that desolate brown here is going over the little bit of clothing he's wearing. Not very much. Some gilly do now on that cacti there or cactus because there's one cactus, many cacti. I don't know if this is one plant. But I really wanted that cactus to pop on that little base there because, you know, even though this is a crazy time in the Wild West with a bunch of zombies running around, there are some still some beautiful flora to be seen. <laughs> and to make those flora even more popping, some familiar pink on the flower parts. Yep, familiar pink. And you know what? I find with the slap chop on those, they just look amazing. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Sturge Tan here. This is actually from the Army Painter. It was their D&D paint range. I believe now D&D has moved on to another company. And uh, Army Painter is now using what they call the Game Master range uh, instead. But this is part of their D&D box set. They had a few, maybe a year ago or two years ago. I can't remember. And I put this on the tongue. And I'm putting this on all these like bubbly flesh areas. Almost as if there was still like some 
human flesh attached to this guy. Like that, this is stuff that was there before all this gross pussiness came out of him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here you go. There's the Gore Geyser all painted up. You guys voted for him. It was really close in the voting. Uh, but anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And again, if you want to send me a gift, it'd be much appreciated. We'll see you all in the next one.